This is the UK's number one pickpocket, and this is me. And if I hired him to follow my every move for an entire week around London, we're gonna have to track his phone. Okay, come on, come on. Got him, got him. With the sole objective of trying to pickpocket me, let's get him. Would he be able to? Pickpocketing is the stealing of possessions from an individual's pocket without them noticing the theft at the time. You see, I know all of this because a little over a year ago, I was pickpocketed in this very city. But one year on from that happening, with me now being fully aware that someone was trying to steal from me, would I lose anything? Well, first up, I needed to find a pickpocket. Now, after sending out a few emails with my proposition to hire one, I received this response from one of them saying that the job wasn't for him, but that he could put me in touch with the UK's number one pickpocket. That'll do, donkey. So a few weeks ago, I jumped straight on a call with him. I believe you're the man who's potentially to be stealing things from me. And in the end, we came to the conclusion that he would select random days throughout the course of that specific week to try and pickpocket me. So after that phone call, my communication channel with him was cut off and it was up to my good friend and cameraman Ben to orchestrate this little operation. The idea was for me to go about my business as normal, but I'd have to carry around an air tag in the back of my phone case at all times so that they could locate me. Hey bro, what's up? <laughs> Is that focusing? Yeah. All right, wicked. Yeah, sweet. Um, well, I'll see you in a week. I'll loser. see you in a week, bro. I'm heading into central London at the moment to meet up with the cameraman, uh, then to find the mark. And then over the course of the next few days, I'll see how many times I can steal off him without him knowing. James, is it? Good, good to meet you. How are you? Good, ben. Okay, day one. This is such a crazy dynamic, man. I'm going to attempt to leave my house right now and not have things taken from my pockets because I have paid somebody to do that. Now this was a rather strange scenario because I knew that theft was potentially upon me, but I didn't know when. But anxiety and paranoia aside, it was the hottest week of the year. So I just went about my business as normal. You know what the craziest thing about this whole project <laughs> is that I don't even know if he's tried to pickpocket me already and he's just failed or whether he hasn't even tried yet and he's gonna rinse me before the week's out. I just have no context, I'm completely in the dark. Well, following me, they sure were. Well, about a kilometer away? Right, stand there. I can see you, Jamie. So my question had been answered, but the extent to which they had been following me was far greater than I could have ever imagined. Absolutely no clue we're following him right now. No clue. Let's go and find the bugger. With the pickpocket locked in and hunting me down, I was living in my own little world, getting on with life. This is where I subtly blend into the crowd. Looks like he's just up here. From here on in, we've got to be a little bit cautious. Yeah, I think I've got him. I think he's there. So I can see him at the moment wearing a yellow top. He's got his back to the street. So this looks like a good opportunity to scope. So I'm going to come in round behind him and just see if I can get a good view of, of what he's got on him. Now he's with a load of people at the moment, so I don't know if they know him or not. This could be interesting. We're gonna wait till he stands up, I think. Otherwise, there's too big a risk. And he looks like he's getting up and going. Which way is he going? He's going that way, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's follow him. It looks like he's moving stuff from his pockets into his bag. Oh, and he's coming back in this general direction. We're gonna quickly walk past him, keeping to the side of the road while he's looking at his camera. What I'd really love to do is if we had actually get right behind him and pace his walking and undo the zip of his bag. Okay, let's get a bit of a move on, let's catch him up. Okay, we've got him again. Let's see if I can stick to his blind spot. Now, as you can see, all seems to be going smooth for the man reaching into my bag until... We're filming together. We're filming together, yeah. So we have had a little bit of a moment, not much, but a little tiny bit of a moment with two security guards walking up the street here and obviously saw what was going on, raised a little bit of an alarm. By all accounts, he's completely unawares. So, uh, the game is on. Now that proved to be such a seamless steal that it wasn't for another 48 hours later that I even noticed my wallet had been taken. I just tried tagging onto the underground and my phone had died. So I went to go tag on my wallet, which I always keep in my bag, and it's not there. I literally never use my wallet, so it could just be at home, but... I don't know, it's a bit sus. But that was evidently the least of my worries because unbeknownst to me, that very day I was again being hunted down like a vulnerable piece of prey. So one of the problems with this is I don't know what he's wearing again. It's not like London isn't a busy place with a lot of people. I mean, according to this, we should be right on top of him. It's about two minutes away. So if we get a bit of a move on, we should catch him up. Right, there he is. I'm gonna wait till he comes out now. It's a waiting game. Hang on a minute, he's on the move again. Bloody hell. There he is, sat on the monument. Perfect. Let's get him.
Unbelievable. Perfect opportunity and he moved at the last minute. I clearly waited just a little bit too long for that. Now I'd love to claim that nimble body movement as a calculated defense of my rifle belongings, but in reality, I was just looking for some shade. Unfortunately for me, however, this shaded location also happened to be the next scene of attack. Hopefully I should be able to get the bag if I sneak up behind. I kind of want to make wait to allow a few people to sort of move away slightly. Well, they're saying that they, gives, they give me cover at the moment because he's moving a lot. I'm worried about his attention. I'm just going to hold off for a second. Oh, hang on. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so where's my peripheral vision at then? Look at the position of my head. How am I not seeing this man? I just got infringed. Now, eventually, I did come to that realization. I feel violated. He just, he just took my camera, man. It's mine, and you took it. Give me it back. But with only a day left in the week on my end, I thought that the games were probably over. And well, on their end, they clearly weren't satisfied with their collection of my items and decided to follow me further. Right, he's just gone into the station, so we need to hurry up a little bit because I've got no idea where he's going and we're not going to have any signal when we're down there. Where's he gone? He's down. He's down. Has he gone down? Yeah. You can see his feet. Not actually sure where he's gone. This way, this way, this way. Don't turn around. Oh, bloody hell, that was close. Okay, he's down there. Okay, we can't really get down on the platform at the moment. We're gonna have to wait for the train. And the problem is on the underground, we have no way of tracking him. So if we lose him here, it's gonna take ages to find him again. There he goes, there he goes. Hang on, hang on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, it's lifts. Shoot. We can't get in the same lift. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna lose him at the top. Oh crap. Uh... Wait, we've got we've got no choice. We're gonna have to track his phone once we get out. But it's gonna take a while to connect again. So, thing is, I've got, I can't see which lift he's got into. So, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait until both lifts have gone and then get in the next one. One of the problems right now is it's actually a lot quieter than it was before. There's less distraction. There's less people around. So we run a slightly greater risk. Where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. I think he's gone into the park. I'm going to give you that back. Thank you. Come on. Got him, got him. Come on. I've got to try and catch my breath before I get too close, otherwise he's going to hear my panting. I was really lucky because he had kindly squeaky shoes on. And I was kind of really close and walking and all I could hear was the ang, ang, ang of his shoes. <sighs> Job well done, I think. Job well done. So that was the week over with. I was walletless, cameraless, and now phoneless. But there was still just one more thing left to do. I've just received an email here from James, who has kindly sent me a meetup time to go get my stuff back. This guy, man. I haven't even been able to get the bus or the train. I've had to walk the whole way here because I've no phone, I've no wallet to pay for anything. Ridiculous. I think I can see them up here. I see a camera. Yo, he doesn't look like I was expecting. Jamie, nice, nice for you to meet me. Yeah. I've met you a few times already. I feel like you have some <laughs> of my stuff. Come have a sit down. So after a week riddled with anxiety, apprehension and outright confusion, the cat and mouse chase was over and it was time to get some clarity. I have questions straight off the bat. The wallet and the phone, when? So the wallet was a couple of days ago. I can't think what street it was now, but you were walking. I mean, I followed you around for blooming hours. And what was funny, is you were filming yourself as well. And I was following you just trying to keep your head in, you know, between me and your camera. The camera was an easy one because it was just, you, you just, you left it on the this table. This so bad. You literally, you had it on the table and you turned to get something out of your bag and that was just the perfect opportunity just to take it and walk. I remember I had it on the table, but I couldn't work out when was the point you actually managed to take it. Cause I didn't, I don't remember ever turning from the table to do it. So the thing is we don't necessarily, when, when you're in that moment, you, you're just kind of like in that moment, you're doing something, you mind, your own business you're like oh i'll grab something out of my bag it takes you half a second to find yeah. it and that's all the thief no, needs yeah. one day where you kind of really veered out of 
the sort of the centre of London and then you walk down a fairly straight road and there was nobody else around and it was just I was literally able to just match your footsteps behind you and your 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 trainer squeaked which was perfect because every time every footstep was yeah. hiding my footstep behind so, if any, if some, I assisted you in you did, taking yeah, my soul. Wonderful. Assisted good, good to hear. I can't believe I'm saying this actually, but thank you for following me around and robbing me blind. Hope to never see you again. Well, no, it's been a pleasure, man. Honestly, All right, great fun. Wiki. Thank you, Let's mate. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. It ran out 10 years ago. Never mind. Got a backup. It's king size, king size. The guy's being hopeful.